Hi everyone, so today we are doing a $20 hamster haul challenge versus pickles. Sorry, I said pickles. It's pickles12807. The lovely Tara had asked me if I wanted to do a fun little collab video with her and I totally said yes. Collab is basically a fun little challenge. We both had $20 to spend in trying to find like a bunch of hamster items, which was kind of difficult because um, as we all know, if we go to a pet store, um, items sometimes are really, really pricey and you wouldn't really get like a lot within a $20 budget. So um, there was definitely going, I definitely had to go to Goodwill to <laughs> find a bunch of things so I could have like, um, you know, at least a handful of some kind of items. I did go over uh, by a little bit, I think with tax or something, it was around a $20 and like, probably probably twenty dollars and sixty or seventy cents it's kind of difficult you know to go at the 20 be just because of that um, but I think I did okay I'm not sure because this is a challenge um, please please um, go over to pickles 12807's channel and check out her $20 challenge you guys can actually go ahead and vote on which haul you guys think was the best don't worry we all know that this is just for fun no one's gonna get their feelings hurt or anything like that um but yeah definitely go and check out her uh video that is going to be uploaded on the same around the same time that i'm uploading this one i definitely recommend subscribing to her channel tara is such a sweet person and um she's just lovely she has two wonderful little hamsters eduardo and matilda she has a adorable leopard gecko named piper she's so cute every time i see her leopard gecko piper um I'm just like dying of cuteness. She's so cute. And then she also has some fish and lovely cute little puppies. Um, she does a lot of live streams as well, which are always fun. So please, please, um, I really recommend checking out our channel and subscribing if you haven't already. And definitely go ahead and vote on which video or which haul you think um, did the best with the amount of money that we were able to spend, which was $20. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the things I got from Goodwill. I left the price tags on everything as well, except a few things, but I, I kind of remember how much they were. Um, but I did leave the prices on the Goodwill items and I didn't clean them yet. So if you guys see like, you know, that they're dirty and stuff, please mind that because I haven't cleaned them yet. So the first thing that I found is this adorable seashell bowl dish. It's so cute. You guys look. It's really, really big actually. I thought it would be perfect for Mochi just because of the size. It would be nice to give her like a little sand bath, put some sand in it. It is a little bit chipped right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but um, it's okay. It's just a tiny little piece. You can't even tell. Um, but so that is the first thing I got and this was 99 cents. Next thing I found, and I was kind of hesitant at first. I didn't know um, if I should get it or not. I thought, when is the last time I'm going to see a cute little bucket with baby chickens on it? They're so cute. Look how cute. I had to get it, and I just thought it would make a cute little Heidi, um, you know, for spring or really any kind of theme, to be honest. I just thought it was so adorable. This one, this little bucket right here was also 99 cents, so it's such a good deal. Now we're, we're up to $1.98 so far. On this adorable little pot right here, um, for 99 cents. It was really, really cute, you know, for any kind of theme, really. And um, on top, it's blue. And yeah, it's just a normal, regular little pot. This really pretty purple vase. This one was a little bit more. This one was $1.99. And it is a tiny little bit chipped right here, but that's totally fine. Um, I thought this would make a great little Heidi. It's just so cute. And I like the color. I like purple. It's really, really nice. And it's really big too. So Mochi will definitely fit in this. $4.96 so far. I found this little food dish. Um, I know it's like gray. I do have a theme for the future in mind. And I just thought, you know what, this might actually um, work for that specific theme too. And I mean, it's just a food dish. Honestly, you can really use it for any kind of theme, to be honest, or if you don't have a theme. So, and you guys know I love to collect little dishes and bowls and stuff. Um, so this one's just like a simple gray one. There's no chips or anything on it. Really, really cute. 
Um, this one was 99 cents. This, you guys, look at this. I thought this would be really cute. It's it's really hardwood, um, so I don't even think Mochi could really chew on this, but it's like really, really hard. Um, I thought it would be really nice um, to put in the cage and then maybe like make it like a sand pit of some sort or something or a little hay pit. So I just really, really like this, to be honest. Um, I think it's usually something that you would mount on the wall and then like put something, you know, on top of it, um, like as for a display or something. But I just thought, I mean, if that goes in the cage like this and then she can like go over with a little bridge and go inside. I thought that was really, really cute. Um, this one was $1.99. Really, really like it. So I'm really excited to use this one actually to $7.94. This little food dish, you guys, it's like a peachy brownish type color. Um, it's really, really sweet. I really liked it. So I grabbed it right away. Um, this one was $1.99. I don't know why it was more than the others. Maybe because it has like cool designs on it or something. Um, but I got this one. This one was $1.99. was probably the best one I found and I couldn't believe it got there because like I said, my Goodwills don't really have great things all the time. It's usually just standard cups and stuff. Look what I found. It's a little ice cream cone dish or waffle or a waffle dish or something. Look how cute that is. This would be great for a sweets theme or a candy theme or something, you know? Not leave that at all. Um, this one was $1.99 as well, probably because of the design. Okay, so I don't know what is up with my hair today, you guys. It's like all in my face. I probably shouldn't have styled it this way. Okay, so we are at $11.92. Now at the Goodwill, I couldn't find any more like dishes that were going to work for a hamster. So this is not really for mochi, but for mochi's food. Um, you guys know that I store her food in, hold on. I am storing her food at the moment in this cute little container. Um, but I wanted something bigger and I found, <laughs> I found this humongous thing right here. I found it, it's so cute. I like that the top is pink as well. And um, I mean, I'm gonna have to clean it out and you know, rinse it. I don't know why, like I kept putting it out of my cart and kept going back and getting it. And I thought, you know what, just keep it Pam and you can put her food in it. So I went ahead and got this. I know it's not for Mochi, but it is for her food. And um, I don't know, I just thought it was really cute. This one was $1.99, which is a good deal. This thing is like humongous, so um, got that one. So that was all of the Goodwill stuff that I had gotten. And the total for the Goodwill stuff alone was $13.91. And then you gotta, you know, probably add in the tax and stuff. But um, without tax right now, $13.91 to Walmart because usually Walmart has really, it has cheaper things um, for small pets. There wasn't really much there to choose from. It was like a bunch of treats and I kind of already have a ton of treats. So I didn't want to like, you know, just buy treats for absolutely no reason. Um, but I haven't had one of these in a long time and I thought I would go ahead and get it for her. And it was um, pretty cheap. I think it was like, I'm not sure because I don't have the receipt now, but I think it was only like $2.35. So let me put $2.35, I think that's what it was. It is the Wild Harvest Stuff Log. Um, I used to get these a lot back in the day. Um, I do consider these like as a treat just because like a lot of, you know, seeds and um, I think it's also stuff with alfalfa hay on the bottom here and then it's like, um, together with honey. So, um, I do consider these a treat, but I thought Mochi would really, really like it. And since she hasn't tried one of these yet, I might as well go ahead and get one. And it was cheap. So that is also what I got to Petco and Petco is usually really expensive. And I only had like a certain amount left to, you know, spend. The cheapest thing that I could find, um, were these little pencil wood shoes from Petco. Um, these are awesome as well. Every hamster of mine really like these, except um, my dwarf hamsters, but my Syrian hamsters really, really enjoyed these. And um, I believe this was like only $1.99 at Petco, so that worked out pretty well. We are at $18.25. The And this is the last item that I got. I had to get something 
that was either like a dollar or two. Um, so when I was, I forgot, this is also something I got at Walmart. Um, you guys all know the little Gerber puffs. I got these little Gerber puffs uh, in the blueberry flavor for her. These I love um, using as treats, especially when you're like trying to tame your hamsters. These work really, really nice just because they're really, really low in sugar and fat. You can give them a few more um, than, you know, any usual treat that you would get at a pet store just because it's low in sugar. Like it's one gram of sugar and zero fat. So these, these are just amazing treats. This is the brand by Parents Choice, which is the cheapest there. And I think it was like $2.64 brings us to $20.89. Um, so I think I did okay. This is minus the tax. With the tax, it was probably um, a, a couple of dollars more, um, but I think I did okay. The amount that we were given to, you know, do this little challenge. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did I did okay? Um, I think, I really do like the things that I found though, especially this seashell dish and, um, this little waffle dish, you know? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I really love these. So that was the $20 hamster haul challenge with Pickles12807. Again, please go and check out her channel and subscribe to her channel if you guys to see more of her pets and her adorable hamsters. Go check out her video uh, to vote for which haul you guys like the best. Remember, it's all in fun. There's going to be no hurt feelings or anything like that. Um, we just thought this would be a fun little thing to do for you guys and kind of interact with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I had a lot of fun. I hope that Tara had a lot of fun as well. I will see all of you guys very, very soon. Bye!